CQ2 meters. This is Kilo 4 Kilo Hotel Oscar calling any station. CW4BOC repeater. CQ, 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 CQ. This is Kilo 4 Kilo Hotel Oscar calling any station. Looks like it's in Zulu time. All right, guys, here we go. The PMR-171 SDR. Now, I've been working with this uh, radio for the last several days. Um, and some things that I'm happy about, but there's some things I'm severely disappointed in it. Um, unless you're a heavy tinkerer, uh, this radio is going to be a little frustrated and challenging. Uh, yesterday, I was able to get the digital modes up and running just as fine. Um, I was very happy about that. So I think the HF side so far and SSB, that was successful testing. Now, I'm going to need more testing, but I can tell you right now, um, that's checking out okay. But part of my operation is a 2 meter, 70 centimeter. Um, and I think the first problem that I encountered was um, using the software that they provided to uh, program the radio. It's very counterintuitive. It's kind of like badly written software. Eventually, after hours and hours of trying to figure it out, um, I was able to write about, let's say, 13 to 14 uh, simplex and repeater frequencies that I enjoy. Um, the, the, one of the biggest problems is what I, that I find with the software is you can deselect up to 1,000 channels. So, okay, I select all, I deselect, that kind of activates the, the, the radio to connect to the software that they provide. I think it's... Um, uh, GH term or whatever the case may be well with the software if I write 20 frequencies do the PL tones do the simplex do the mode do the band and everything no matter how many times I downloaded just those 12 to 20 frequencies it sent me 99 uh, 999 um, channels in my radio so if you look here if I go past what I have programmed right here as you can see, if I go past, channel 14, now it's just an endless number of, of frequencies that I did not write, and I kept trying not to write them. So that's counterintuitive, especially if somebody is just trying to pull it off the uh, shelf. Now you can see I have my Bank of America, my NF4J is my favorite repeat of my community, well, it was programmed properly. Now it's just some random 145.835 frequency out of nowhere. It just stopped. And as a matter of fact, I was talking to a buddy on mine on my on this frequency a few minutes ago. You know, I, and I have a, a few other frequencies that I have that that kind of holding. Maybe there was something wrong with the way the frequency was uh, uh, written in the software. But no, I was talking on it, so it was actually working, and I got a good signal report. Now look, if I go past channel zero. Now I'm back to 999, and I exclusively tried to make sure that I did not have that many channels in my radio. And where these frequencies here come from, I have um, no idea, right? Now, um, today the GPS does work. Um, the battery life is pretty good. The sound is pretty good. The SSB stuff is pretty good. The digital modes are pretty good. But I'm very disappointed in the 2 meter um in the two meter stuff and one thing that the, the gps does work but i spent too long uh i read the document over and over and over again i tinkered with it over and over again and i actually felt like okay i got something good to go and i came out i uh, did a few repeaters got some signal reports everything was good then out of nowhere the nf4ga frequency just changed to a simplex frequency and it was programmed properly now, I've never experienced that, not even with a Baofeng on Chirp. So, you know, I'm still going to use this radio, but today I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated. Um, because, you know, I, I got plans. You know how we are. We all have plans and we want to do things. And the thing about that repeater, I'm right in the neighborhood from the repeater. So, that's not a problem, you know. Form factor. The form factor is still beans. I really like the form factor. Uh, I'm coming up with some ways to really redo the GPS and uh, get the antenna going. Trying to figure that out. I got an extra battery right here. 
and I got the hand mic is halfway decently. But, you know, this is my first warning. Be honest with everybody because I care about the hams in my community. Um, this is my first warning about the PMR 171. Um, legitimately, my argument is that the software provided to write to the, uh, the programming of channels is going to be challenging for people who aren't super tech savvy. Um, it's going to be challenging to people who aren't determined. Um, it's just badly written. Um, and that's what I got for that. So, you know, just giving you guys a head up because I care about the community. Do I still like the phone factor? Yes. Will I still use it? Yes. Um, do I, am I disappointed in it? Yes. But you know what? It's all good. We, we're going to get through it. Maybe they'll update the firmware. Um, maybe they'll do some things with it, but I want to send a, a public service announcement out to everybody uh, who's interested in this radio. Now, I think uh, once I get done here, I'm going to connect it to um, my tablet because I got a cool little setup right here. The idea was to basically run my tablet and keep my keyboard in it. I have the rest of my cables uh, with an extra battery. And here's my keyboard and here's my tablet. You know, pluses, it definitely does provide a USB uh, COM port and you can identify it. The audio interface when you're trying to do the digital modes, they are very highly recognizable. I think they even um, named themselves the speaker and the mic by name. You'll see PMR 171. Um, but the, this is channel uh, 995 and I don't know who programmed it to 144.896. You know, uh, also, I got to uh, let you guys with it earlier, you know, doing some two meter repeater work, just talking, having a good time. It froze up on me. So those are some things that you guys got to worry about. So giving you guys a heads up, Metro Atlanta Ham, you know, I got this radio so that I could share the word about it. Um, so, hey, guys, we keeping it real. We're, we're being honest with everybody. It's not like I'm going to not going to have fun with it. But I am kind of upset because I do like my 2 meter, 70 centimeter work. I do like every aspect of working with my radios, especially if it's a, if it claims to be a, 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 um, all band, all mode. Uh, the wattage output is good. Everything is fine when it comes to that stuff. But programming channels is its worst, worst aspect so far. Well, thank you guys for watching. And I'll, and I'll be in touch.